In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the slope between two points using the slope formula, but something funny might happen as we do so. Let's take a look at it. We recall the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we were to call this negative 4, negative 1, the first point, and negative 4, negative 5, the second point, and remember that they're in order x, y, we can plug these values into the slope formula. y2, or from the second point, is negative 5, minus y1, which is negative 1, off the first point, x2, the x from the second point is negative 4, minus x1, x from the first point is negative 4. We can then combine these together. Subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, so we get negative 4 over 0. However, you may recall that anything divided by 0 is undefined. We can't divide by 0, and so in this case, because we have 0 under the fraction, it is undefined. This is the case that we saw when we had the graphs, where we have a vertical line, an undefined slope. Let's take a look at this next one, 3, 1, and negative 2, 1. Again, the slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1, over x2 minus x1. Plugging our values into the slope formula from the first and second point, remembering our order of x, y on these ordered pairs, y from the second point is 1, minus y from the first point is 1, over x from the second point, negative 2, minus x from the first point, 3. When we do our subtraction here, we get 0 over negative 5. It is ok to have 0 in the numerator of a fraction. This line that connects the two points has a slope of 0. This is the case that we saw where we've got a horizontal line through 1, and it's a simple walk in the park with no steepness, and it has a slope of 0. Be careful not to mix up an undefined slope and a 0 slope as we do these.